Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. And today we're going to be talking about what is the correct car for you to choose on ACC that's going to get the best out of how you like to drive and cars that suit your driving style. So anyway guys, let's get stuck into the video. So coming across here you can see all of the gt3 cars that are on atc and what i probably would like to say first is i do think probably around about half if not more most of these cars can just be discarded a lot of them are older models which are just not you know not really viable in 2023 most of them are not going to get you anywhere near the front now if you're just playing the game for fun then you can take any car you want because if you're just playing for fun you're not competitive at all you just you don't get a lot of time to play the game you jump on every now and again then you know you can just jump on the game have a little bit of fun take the jag if you want a car that sounds cool and stuff like that but i'm primarily talking to the people that are getting into acc and are interested in doing leagues and you know improving and getting better and stuff like that so this video is more you know pushed towards those sort of people and i'm sure all the guys who play acc already have got tons of experience they know what cars to pick but for me i'm going to go ahead and say they're probably probably is around about five or six cars maximum at the moment that i would say are worth um your time um obviously we have had the new dlc cars the ferrari 296 the new porsche 992 the lamborghini evo 2 and we've had a revised mercedes amg by far those four cars are definitely um the best cars on the grid at the moment uh, there's no there's no sugarcoat in that no doubt in that um, again, I think the other cars that you could probably bring into the mix, maybe the Aston V8, um, still a very nice car to drive, still very easy to drive. Maybe also the BMW and the McLaren, I believe, is is, is decent. Um, the Audi is good around certain tracks as well. So there is a few other cars, but I think for the, for the main part of, um, you know, competing at the moment, the newer cars seem to be where it's at. So I'm kind of going to focus a little bit around them. Um, now, depending on your driving style and how you like to drive, how you feel comfortable, I, I would say this is the first time when you've got like cars that have like rear mid engine where they really are a lot more stable than what we've had in the past. Because, for instance, the Lambo Evo 2, um, compared to its predecessor, it's definitely not as snappy, definitely a lot more pleasant to drive. There is a few nuances still that um, I, I kind of find between that and maybe like the ferrari the ferrari to me doesn't even drive like a gte the ferrari drive sorry like a gt3 it drives like a gte a lot of grip um it's the gears are slightly longer as well so around certain tracks it actually works out better for you um doesn't make it as snappy on the rear because the first gear is that little bit longer whereas with the with the lambo sometimes you've got a short shift and stuff like that but um if you guys are someone who likes a car that's a little more tell happy you like to have a little bit more control over the car i would definitely probably look towards maybe jumping in something like the porsche um definitely still has a, a very nice front end nice through the corners but it does take a little bit of driving still it is a way way easier to drive than its predecessor um i couldn't drive the 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 991 at all well i could drive it but i just couldn't drive it fast now the 992 a lot easier to drive fast um a lot more stable the balance just seems to be a lot better um in the 992 and if i was if i was jumping on this game tomorrow and i could only choose from these four cars the car that i would probably pick um being a newbie if i'm honest would probably be the ferrari because i believe it is the easiest to drive doesn't take that much to set up um but if you if you really want to challenge yourself i i would i would lean towards the porsche um again what i will say is like for instance like the amg the, the thing with the amg is a very good car but it's not the easiest car to set up and that's probably been the problem with the amg from the beginning it's always been a decent car now it's a very good car but it's just never been that easy to set up to really get the lap time out of um and that's why a lot of the time you only see like a, a handful of people that are really able to maximize the amg even to this day even though it's a much better car now there's only a handful of people that i can think of on acc that always get the maximum out of the amg um as i said but right now i'll say that the ferrari is definitely the most 
user friendly in terms of new people coming towards the game um as i said doesn't take a lot to learn um me personally my car that i like is definitely the lamborghini evo because i just love lamborghinis the first car i drove again it, it does take a little bit more driving but i feel like the satisfaction of the lambo is definitely at just a little higher than some of the other cars for me personally um the ferrari i jumped in it was it was nothing it was nothing to to do a decent lap time it didn't feel like anything it was pretty much kind of easy to be honest and i guess if you're new to a game or if you if you want to you know just improve your pace maybe something easy is the best choice because um you don't you're not gonna have to worry about the back end stepping out you don't have to worry so much about oh i really need to nail my, my tc settings and stuff like that but that is also another thing um traction control settings for the lamborghini uh you know, you definitely have to mess around a little bit because I found sometimes in the slow corners you tend to get quite a lot of wheel spin. It makes it a little oversteering in, in the slow corners with the Lamborghini and that can prove difficult if you're not concentrating all the time, especially around certain circuits. Um, but again, it's been improved. It actually got a, it actually got a buff the other day. So the Lamborghini's improved even more so. So it's definitely one of the, the fastest cars on the game at the moment, but it does take a little bit of driving compared to the Ferrari. Now, when you're going into races that are longer you have to start you know you have to start thinking about tire wear and all these other sort of things that come into come into play I and mean, it's not just about which cars are fastest you got which cars are the most comfortable to drive over a longer period of time which is why sometimes making the decision to pick the right car it can be difficult if you're someone that has um you know a lead foot and you slam the foot in the brakes you slam the foot in the accelerator you, you know you don't generally um have a progressive style when you accelerate and stuff like that you're going to be a little bit more harsh on the tires and stuff like that so you want to sort of probably i would probably go with the ferrari if that was the case because i feel like the ferrari is a little bit kinder to tires just because of how easy it is to drive um i feel like if you have that sort of style in a lambo eventually over a stint you're going to end up paying for it a little bit um that's just my personal opinion what i would do if i was new definitely try the ferrari the only that the, the only things i'll say about the ferrari maybe not so good over the curbs as some of the other cars and that was probably the weakness in the 488 maybe they've sort of just transferred all the weaknesses from the old ferrari into the new one but just gave it a little bit a little bit more <laughs> made it a little bit easier to drive so it kind of covers it up a little bit but i do still feel like it has a few weaknesses it still has the poor acceleration getting a ferrari off the line compared to a porsche is like you've pretty much just lost the place if you qualify a pole when you've got a, a Porsche, AMG, even a Lambo behind you, you've lost the place off the start. This just that's just what it is. All right, it's pretty much just like the Aston V8, just terrible at starts. In fact, I think it's worse. I generally think it's worse. The few races that I did in the Ferrari, um, every time someone started on a row behind me in a Porsche, by the time I got to the first corner, they were either ahead of me or we were side by side, and that can be annoying. But of course, if you qualify with a bunch of Ferraris around you, then you probably ain't got nothing to worry about. But um, as I said, it all depends on what you want and uh, how you, you have to know yourself to know what's best for you. So if we're talking about leagues that's going to be coming out, like AOR, for instance, they might have a seven, eight race calendar and you go over the calendar, you've got to look through all the races and judge for you which is going to be the best car that's going to suit my driving style. Now, if you want, if you are someone who, you know, you don't want to get bogged down with the technical stuff, take the Ferrari. If you, if you feel like, you know, you want to be competitive and you feel like you can handle, you know, driving half an hour stints on a set of tires without wearing too much, I would probably start looking towards the Lambo, man. It's probably going to take a, a little bit more setup work. Um, you're going to have to be a little bit more careful when driving and stuff like that, but the Lambo is definitely rapid at the moment. Um, Again, probably similar to the Porsche as well. Um, it's going to take a bit of setup work. Have to be a little bit more careful throughout the stint. And um, for, for me, sometimes if you're, you know, if you're not sure, that's where a lot of people start making mistakes, where they start losing mountains of time. Because when you make a setup with a Lambo or a Porsche, you have to build it for a stint. You have to build your setup for the stint. What I mean by that is do laps make sure you know see what the car feels like with tire wear and stuff like that see how much you fall off because for me whenever i drove the ferrari i just never felt the fall off was ever the same unless i took the mick and just had like insane 
um, negative rear toe and stuff like that, which is kind of a thing I, I feel like starting to be phased out of the game now. So trying to move away from the, the, the uh, negative toe, sort of when you're setting up your cars now, you kind of want like, at the very least, you kind of want like zero, zero on, on the rear toe because over the race distance, it does start to play a role in making the back of your car slide around a little bit. But I found for me, out of all the cars, the Ferrari is definitely the one that can probably get away with a little bit more. And it allows you to not have to think about that side of things. But for me, when I drive the Lambo, I do have a little bit more time drop off than I do in, in the Ferrari. But again, that could be my driving style. You may be even smoother than me. If you're a very smooth driver, I believe this is a very good patch for you. Um, judging by like, for instance, uh, I've seen like, like Trevor Wenham, Trevor Wenham, his driving style is insanely smooth. So I could already tell the moment this patch dropped, like this is going to be a good patch for someone like that because he, he makes very little inputs. You know, he's very, very smooth and accurate when he drives. And I feel like people that have that sort of driving style, you could say that the Jensen button driving style, surely going to be beneficial to you. Um, other than that, I say like the AMG, as I said, AMG is going to be a very good car. It's rapid in the straight line, great over curbs good acceleration it's a very very strong car but it's going to take setup work if you can put the setup work in and you can get the setup down the amg again is a a great option because the car is rapid um and of course it's, it's front engine so you always feel like you've got that little bit of stability and that, that that for me is the the biggest thing if you look at my um sim racing leagues and stuff that i've done i've always tended to go to front engine cars because i believe the stability over a season it just makes it easier you might have you know a couple of races where you, you kind of need the agility of the the mid or rear engine cars but the overall stability always helped me in my decision making for choosing cars for a calendar but of course now at the moment apart from the amg there isn't really any other cars that can really challenge i would say if you were going to pick another car i would probably go with the aston because i still think the aston is um pretty good Maybe not as fast, but it's stable, it's reliable. Um, you know what you're gonna get, it's easy to drive, and again, it's probably kinder when it's tires as well. And I still find that Aston is pretty nice and agile in the wet. So again, um thinking about all these different things, if I was to rank sort of the one to five of cars to pick in what order, um, I would probably say right now, if you're new or or you know, you just but for comfortability's sake, I would say probably the Ferrari number one. I think the Ferrari is probably the number one pick because of how easy it is to drive. Number two right now, I would probably say the Lambo because I think the Lambo is extremely fast. And if you can get it down, the Lambo is going to be flying. Um, number three, I would say the Porsche again because it's rapid. Um, probably slightly more tricky to drive than the Lambo as well but they are very fast cars number four i'm gonna go for the amg good choice but hard to set up in fact no I, no i'm gonna go number four the amg because um how fast it is but it, with a caveat it is definitely harder to set up and number five i would definitely take the aston because it's it's the good old trusty it's easy um you can set your tc up so you pretty much don't have to worry about how you get on the throttle you know easier easier to drive not not too difficult to set up and it's got that stability that people are looking for so i hope this did help you guys pick the right car for your for your future on the game as i said if you're trying to take it seriously those are the five cars probably that i would consider um in, in that order and if you are you know if you are more technical and you know you you're not you're not really fussed about having to make banging setups and you know, really train yourself then of course cars like the audi are still fun the bmw um another stable car probably probably a little a little bit more difficult to get time out of these days it seems to be the guys who are ultra fast can get the time out of the bmw but other than that man i'm not too sure like I'm not too sure a lot of the other cars are really up to it at the moment man and it's a shame because we've got so many cars in the game and it seems to be only a handful of cars that can actually compete which is you no know, it's not what we wanted. I, I did want to see the Lamborghini buffed and stuff like that, but I also wanted like, all cars to be within two or three temps at least, or at least 10, 10 cars between, you know, two or three temps and 
it would have been pretty cool but um it is what it is anyway guys it's just a short video cryptic tmt like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace